Hey guys, this tutorial is on the pencil tool and the brush tool. So these are the keyboard shortcuts. N is for pencil tool, B is for brush tool. So really everything's just in the settings for these. So if you hit N, pull up the pencil tool and hit return or enter, it'll bring the settings up for you. So I'm just gonna go over these one by one. So fidelity, well I'll hit reset. So th this is the default settings for the pencil tool. Fidelity is right in the middle. I'm going to show what accurate does versus smooth first. So if I draw, I'm going to draw this really kind of jagged line. And if you look, it's really accurate to the way it was drawn. Darken that a little bit. So it keeps all of your imperfections really closely. If I turn that all the way to smooth and kind of mimic that stroke that I drew, so it's that really rough jagged stroke it fixes a lot of those imperfections it does its best to just make it a really smooth stroke so I mean if you're just trying to draw a long smooth line it'll smooth that out really well and then if you put it in the middle then obviously it's gonna be somewhere in the middle so it's gonna keep some of your imperfections but it's gonna minimize them so it really just depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to keep a really kind of organic, hand-drawn feel, then maybe you want Fidelity to be all the way accurate. I typically keep it either in the middle or one over towards smooth. Um, but sometimes if I just want to like rough out shapes that I'm going to refine later with the pen tool, then I'll keep it all the way smooth because I just want, I want as few of points as possible. Then I can go in and edit those later. So next is fill new pencil strokes. So I'm gonna keep it unchecked and show what happens. So I'm gonna load an orange into that color, into the fill color. And if I draw, it forgets the fill because it assumes I'm only drawing in strokes because I don't have this checked. If I check this, then if I don't have a fill, there's no fill. But if I do load a fill color in there before I draw, it'll maintain that fill. So I I don't know if I ever turn this off. I usually keep that on because if I'm drawing shapes, then I want to keep that color. And if I don't want a fill color, I'll just get rid of it with the, the uh, forward slash. So the next option is option key toggles to smooth tool. So I'm going to show what it does without that being checked first. If you hold Option, it'll show you this line. If you hold that, it's gonna draw a straight line. Now, what is cool about this is you can draw your shape like normal, and then while you're still drawing that shape, don't let go of your mouse, hold Option. It'll switch to a straight line until you let go of the Option key, and then it'll switch back to your you know natural organic pencil drawing. So. That is cool, I like how it works, but I don't ever use that. So I keep it checked to use the smooth tool and I will show you what that smooth tool does. So if I have a circle and I bump my hand or something, you know, whatever happens, I just don't get a smooth line. I can hold option, it'll switch to a circle if that is checked. Now I just draw over the part I wanna smooth out and it just gradually smooths it more and more. So I use this all the time way more than I would ever use that straight line tool. So I just keep that checked. Uh, close paths when ends are within 15 pixels. I keep this on all the time also. This just means if you wanna draw a circle, once your pencil gets close enough, you'll see your cursor change to show a little circle. It'll just fill that stroke, in, or it'll uh, connect those endpoints. If you don't have that checked, then no matter how close you get, it's just gonna show these two endpoints, which for me is annoying because usually, I mean, if I'm if I'm drawing shapes, I'm wanting them to be complete shapes and I don't wanna have those gaps. What does happen though, if you're drawing really small, like paint splatter type things, I'll draw a really small circle and it's too small for it to really register that I want it to be a shape for some reason. So no matter how close you get, you always have these endpoints if you just hit Command J while it's selected, it'll fill that gap. Typically you need to select two endpoints and hit Command J, 
but if you select the entire object, it'll connect those closest points automatically. So that's kind of the workaround there. Uh, and then edit selected paths. I use this a lot too. So what it means is if I'm trying to draw a circle and let's say I bump my hand or it gets all messed up, this is too much work for the smooth tool. It'll be all day until that smooths out. What I can do is without clicking anything, as long as I'm within a certain number of pixels to this selected path, I can just redraw that segment. And then if I need, I can go and smooth it out. But that drew pretty well, actually. So again, I use that all the time. Definitely keep that on. So after you draw your stroke, you can open up your brushes and just go to Window Brushes if you don't have it. And with that stroke selected, you can select a brush from your palette. And there's different libraries of brushes that you can open up. Uh, this is a brush pack that I made. So you can apply it to an existing stroke. If you draw a new stroke with the pencil tool, even if you have that brush selected, it, it doesn't matter. It just draws a, a uh, default stroke. But with the brush tool, if you draw with a brush selected, it applies that brush automatically to the stroke you drew. And that really is the only difference that I am aware of between the brush tool and the pencil tool. The brush tool has similar settings, just not quite as many, but yeah, I mean, same fidelity and, uh, you know, basic options. So just depends if you are just trying to lay down a whole lot of brush strokes with the actual brush applied, then use the brush tool. Otherwise use the pencil tool. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So if you guys are interested in this brush set, like I said, this is one I made recently. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to purchase this. And other than that, just let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.